Hello everyone, it's Persian Doll Tarot. Welcome to my channel. Please do me a favor, like this video and subscribe to my channel for more readings. I also started doing readings for other signs, so please share my readings with your friends and family members. I also wanted to say thank you for liking my videos, for sharing my videos, for helping us get to 8,000 subscribers. We just celebrated 7,000, so I'm pretty sure in no time we'll be at 10,000 subscribers. Thank you so much for the love, support, and all the comments you used to leave. So what do we have for the collective Aries spirit? Okay, so some of you, for whatever reason, in the recent past, you realize that you lost an opportunity, made a bad investment, or you had a lack of planning, okay? It could be two out of three of those as well. Something, you were disconnected from your intuition. You're trying one more time. Some of you could fear change, but you're making a lot of progress some of you are leaving home, making plans. You've discovered this information. Now you're very inspired to act. Some of you could have, you know, lacked planning with your future, your investments. You could have, like, you know, not trusted yourself. There could have been secrets like toxic influences standing in the way, toxic behaviors, victim mentality, whatever the case may be. But you're not giving up. You're planning your future and you are making a lot of progress and making decisions that are leading to you to be more passionate. So you are going to celebrate. Good times are on the horizon. You have been more creative lately. Some of you are going to get some really good news. You've been, some of you are literally becoming more independent by leaving home. And forgiving the past, which is wonderful. Very beautiful. You're overcoming something. You're going against the grain. You're being unconventional. You don't care what other people think. You have blind faith in the direction you're going in, which is against the grain. Okay? There is a delay. You are releasing limiting beliefs, exploring and detaching you're exploring the dark thoughts the toxic behaviors the toxic influences restoring control over your life some of you could be releasing resentment that you have with a water sign somebody it could be anybody it doesn't have to be a water sign but this is how you feel inside you know somebody was emotionally manipulative they could have even given you bad advice because they wanted to like throw you off or hurt you You've had to, you've even doubted yourself because of this person. So you've struggled a lot in the past, right? But you're going to celebrate a personal celebration, something that's going to bring you more stability. Um, it could be about a new house. We have several indicators of some of you gaining independence, leaving home. You could be detaching from familiar situations and people. There was a breakdown in communication. You have very strong compassion and love for yourself, very strong intuition about what you need to do. You know that avoiding conflict, agreeing to disagree is going to be in your best interest. There was a painful ending and that's why you like detached from someone. You're just completely avoiding conflict, which is great. You are overcoming challenges and competition. There are people trying to compete with you. There are people trying to throw you off and you're protecting yourself and persevering. You're taking control of your life. You are disciplined. There is a lack of accountability with an air sign. Somebody is not, they could feel very guilty because they lacked commitment. There, it could be that you're learning from failure as well. Maybe you lack accountability for, a, like, I don't know. Somebody lacks account. There's a lack of justice and learning from failure. 
you made a head over heart decision. You've gotten a lot of mental clarity, the world. So you're going to complete a cycle, accomplish something. You're very disciplined. You're very, you're, some of you could be planning to travel, but it's more so about celebrating life, achieving success, taking risks. You're becoming more fearless. You're taking care of yourself. There could be a delay. Some of you could be bored. There is a lot on your mind. Some of you have a lot on your mind. You're taking action though. You're manifesting. You're using your power. You're very confident at this time. You are transforming, but you've disconnected from people to reevaluate something. Some of you are focusing on building your self-worth. You've gotten a lot of, um, some of you have creative opportunities or you're simply listening to your intuition. Some of you could be isolating yourself. Some of you could be resigning from a position at your job that you have to lead others. But that's not going to be for the majority of you. You could be uh, isolating yourself from a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You're practicing patience, balance, harmony, moderation, finding meaning and purpose. You're focused on taking care of yourself and becoming financially independent. There could be somebody very jealous of you and trying to hold on to you. It could be a Scorpio. They're resisting the changes you've made. They could be very worried or feeling depressed. They could be getting karma at this time. You're building something. You're implementing what you've learned. You're manifesting. You don't want to work with these people. You don't want to work as a team or collaborate. You're focused on your own abundance. You're nurturing yourself. You could be manifesting abundance. You're growing. You're evolving the Empress card. You're focusing on self-love. Some of you have overly committed yourself to multiple things and you're a little overwhelmed. You're wishfully thinking. You have opportunities and choices. Some of you are using your imagination to create your reality, to visualize you're taking really good care of yourself. You're really loving yourself. Some of you are overcoming codependency and even insecurities. This is a great reading so far. Spare, let's get more information about Aries money, career, finances. Some of you have to stop thinking negative or there could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius around you who's very heartbroken by your decision. Your wishes are coming true. You're emotionally stable. You're living content. You're happy. You're satisfied. But there's people that are very upset with you. They don't like the direction you're going in. People could be suffering. People that you've people that you've given multiple chances to, people who feel like so people who are toxic, they normally play victim. And that's what's going on. People are just like feeling at a loss without you, Aries. Aries are the most loyal, amazing friends, lovers, family members until you cross us. We will cut you out like we never even knew you. If you if you continuously hurt an Aries, oh, that loyalty will go away real quick, okay? We were not stupid people at all, by any means, by any stretch of the imagination. So I'm going to find out more for you guys. But first, let's take a mini break and use the Madame and Doris fortune cards. Any messages we need to know right now for Aries as far as money, career, finances? I just got really strong chills. Let's see what's going on for the collective Aries. 
money, career, finances. And then I'll pull more cards, see what else is going on. We have, you will receive news from afar. Some of you may get this message from an air sign, but this also means seek a union of mind and spirit. Fate has blocked a path for you. There is a hindrance. Revelry and indulgence. We get this card a lot. We get both of all three of these four cards. We get a lot. Stars. A long journey brings rewards. So this is good. Very positive turn of events. Okay. We have, oh my God. Seek wisdom and guidance from elders, the oracle. We also have strength and wisdom, the dragon. Love and prosperity. We also have the raven. Darkness looms on the horizon and honor and good luck. I thought that was it, but we also have honor and good luck. So ravens symbolize, look it up, just Google it. What do ravens symbolize spiritually? You may notice that a lot of websites are going to say fear-mongering stuff and completely wrong things. And then there's going to be about rebirth, transformation, mysticism, transformation, magic, intuition, knowledge. It's honestly my favorite, one of my favorite animals ever because they're beautiful meaning, gorgeous meaning. So let's pull a couple of tarot cards. I was thinking about possibly having another camera showing the cards, but it's going to require way more editing. So I'm still thinking about it, but I will consider that. If that's something you really want, please hit the like button and that'll give me an uh, obvious sign that you really do care that much for that because it is more work for me. So I'm not going to do it unless it's really necessary. So you are going to be living in luxury, reaping the rewards of all of your efforts, okay? You're gaining financial independence, working really hard, diligently protecting yourself against opposition, getting good karma, answering a calling, higher calling. Wow. Business, leadership, wealth. Taking off, taking control, the chariot, overcoming a challenge, victory. Some of you could be juggling multiple priorities. You could simply be overwhelmed. Gratitude, living in luxury, emotional satisfaction and contentment. So stay happy, stay grateful. Learn how to love yourself. Some of you could have had a breakup or a miscommunication. It could be with anyone, a business partner, and it could literally be that after a breakup or a misalignment between you and someone else, you chose to love yourself. This is simply about self-love, okay? After moving on, like I said, after a breakup with someone, could be anyone, you're taking a rest, taking a break, resting, renewing your mind, taking the, garden, the weeds out of the garden of your mind. You're releasing limiting beliefs, limitations, negative thoughts, and a victim mentality. Wow. So you are detaching from toxicity. You could be giving up bad behaviors, bad habits, toxic people, codependency, releasing limiting beliefs, doing shadow work. This is leading you to success and completion. Finally, I've arrived. I did it major success and victory <gasps> speaking of major success and victory this is about public recognition success gaining confidence achieving something publicly it could be within the family fame and success and we also have waiting for something could be planning to travel this main meaning is like making decisions making plans progress some of you could be traveling you have the whole world in your hands you could have an um, expansion 
of your opportunities. You're expanding your horizons. Any other messages before I move on? The lovers. You could have a choice between two options, two roads to take, two people even. And it looks like you are dropping the burdens. You're not going to take on all the burdens anymore. You're releasing the burdens. You could have had back pain from handle, like taking on too many responsibilities. It could be in a relationship, doesn't have to be. It could be at a, with a business partner, in a marriage, anywhere. You've gained a lot of clarity, mental breakthrough, sharpness of the mind. This could also symbolize success, a new beginning, strong desire, passion, excitement. You have options, wishful thinking, manifesting with your thoughts and emotions you can manifest multiple things some of you are isolating yourself you're isolating yourself it could be you're protecting yourself from a leo you could also be protecting yourself after gaining clarity about a toxic influence who's abusing their power, somebody arrogant. Wow, this is a toxic family member. This is about you finding out about this toxic. This is like family that has a negative influence on you, the dark side of wealth, the dark side of family, gossip, spying on you, watching you, spreading lies, rumors, maybe because they're mad that you're successful. Tell us more about the Ten of Pentacles. There could be a Gemini that's upset with you because you made it what the decision that was best for you. You have no control over this person. You made a head over heart decision and they don't like the fact that they have no control over you. Maybe some of your family members are upset because they lacked control this is about you focusing on your own wish fulfillment, your own dreams coming true. This could simply further put more emphasis on what I just said about the family. You're not interested in doing this anymore. It, it's like you're finally taking your power back. You're focusing on growing and evolving. You may have... You may be fe feeding your manifestation, or you could be avoiding a mother figure. There was something you didn't know about a family, about a familiar situation. It could be something about your past as well. Stay emotionally in control. You're very emotionally tolerant. You're releasing negative thoughts and self-talk. You have a lot of empathy and compassion. And it could have been used against you. And you're releasing that. You could also be avoiding a group of people who talk behind your back, who gossip about you, who try to triangulate you and gain control over you by manipulating you they try to abuse you mentally they try to compete with you they want to win at all costs so you're obviously avoiding these people who are deceptive sometimes you could be feeling grief because of this like you could have anxiety and you need to like connect more to your intuition there could be secrets being revealed. Yeah, there's secrets being revealed about, yeah, it, about you, your focus on healing or staying emotionally comfortable and calm. Ooh, celebration. Healing, lots of healing. You could have blocked some family members off. <laughs> Yeah, you're blocking people from even being able to come at you. 
page of pentacles you could get a message about a financial opportunity or abundance um this could also be a message from someone who's really upset someone who's manipulative someone who want maybe they want to give you money to try to have control over you 20 minutes this was supposed to be a short reading you're following your heart you have a loyal lover around you a prince charming a knight in shining armor somebody who loves you or you're following your heart you're using your imagination i honestly feel like like um redoing this but i also feel more strongly to leave this video up so i'm gonna leave this video up Please like it if I if you think that was a good idea because I usually sometimes I overthink. Okay, so what do we have for the collective Aries as far as this tea leaf oracle deck goes? We'll probably get way more clarity. I might as well keep going. This video is already 21 minutes. Let's go to 24. Okay, what do we have for the collective Aries? okay so money will be coming to you this is the good news i'll give you the good news first coins money will be coming to you but somebody is trying to start trouble and causing like making false accusations i feel like this is we just talked about this um you you already know this money or property through an inheritance winning or windfall this is beyond exciting but we also have a horse short journey i i feel like this could be two two different things okay it could be about a horse in chinese astrology so you can go online and put in horse chinese astrology date of birth and then you'll know who in your life has that date of birth? Like who is a horse in your family? Because this could be an indicator of the person who's behind your back, talking about you, uh, spreading rumors, gossiping and triangulating. This person could lack empathy and be manipulative. I'm giving you the straight up personal reading right now. Like this is, this. if this doesn't resonate, then this may be not for you, okay? And I do recommend you take what resonates and leave the rest, but keep that in mind, okay? If this resonates for you, this is your reading. It could also be about a short journey. You may find out somebody's going on a short journey. You are on the road to success. I was not expecting it because all I saw was like everything flipped over except money and trouble accusations. So this is amazing. We have money, property, inheritance, winning, or windfall. So you're going to get money or property through one of these avenues. Money will be coming to you. Another omen, okay? Short journey. You're on the road to success, but somebody could be trying to start trouble. We also have karma. They're going to reap what they've sown and you're going to reap what you've sown. And this is the month of double eight energy. This is the, the month of the star card. Hope, renewal, you know, using like gaining power as well, success as well, depending on what you put out there. Temporary problems. Some of you could be experiencing temporary problems. We have increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. We also have a period of frustration, lessons to be learned, okay? So maybe right now, spirit is guiding you to become more mindful, be present, be careful. Maybe don't take too many risks. Have If you're going to, you know, play the lottery, don't gamble, you know, manifest it, don't spend more money that don't take too many risks be careful have a budget and stick to that we also have someone you know is insincere and not dependable this is something you need to be mindful of okay waiting for news a package or a letter you could be waiting for something right now <gasps> so 
something important such as a new job or a raise. So you're going to get the bag either way, Aries. And we also have somebody has muddled unclear thinking. So practice mindfulness, meditation to gain mental clarity. We also have a long journey, either physical or mental, will leave you wiser at the end. And for some reason, we have September. Something could have happened in September that caused you November. Something could have happened in November. It could happen in November. Do not be tempted to lower your standards. And take care because there are enemies working against you. I will pull some more. I don't want to leave you guys on that note. <laughs> Happiness and well-being. So you need to focus on what makes you happy. Take care of yourself. Because people are trying to basically lower your vibration. It's not something to be overly worried about. It's not because you're so powerful. Don't focus on it. Um, just protect yourself. Protect your mind. Protect your emotional well-being. Protect yourself vibrationally. That's the best advice I could give to you. Let's see if we have any messages from the witch's wisdom. If you need to do anything, let's find out what that is exactly. What is going on for the collective Aries as far as money, career, finances? What do they need to do? How can they protect themselves if they need to do anything to protect themselves against enemies? Please let us know. First card out is banishment. You may need to banish this person from your life. I always say all weapons formed against me make me prosper. Scrying mirror, shadow work. You could try to see if you could get a message. By scrying, there's a secret book of shadows. Foundation, homeland. It could be someone in your own family, in your own homeland. Something about the autumn. Watchtower of the West. We have responsibility, the high priest, high priestess. Cleansing your energy. You could take a bath. You can, I like to use pink Himalayan salt. They have so many different, um, you know, you can use so many different kinds. I like to also do Florida water baths or cleanse the house. I clean like all the time. I just cleaned the floors yesterday. Probably two days prior as well, using Florida water, using ammonia, whatever I feel called to do. Invocation ritual. You can evoke the G ascended master Jesus to protect you, to help you do a ritual of protection. Something to fulfill yourself so that your, re your vibration is continuously raised. Come home to yourself. Homecoming, hearth. I hope you've gotten clarity. I hope you take a cleansing bath or you could simply do something to cleanse your space. Whatever you guys feel called to do and protect your energy, protect your thoughts. Don't focus on, you know, things you can't control that you know are there to put you down, to bring you down. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>